What's going on guys, Georgia Texan 85 here, and I'm bringing you a little bit of Battlefield 4 from my PlayStation 4. Uh, sorry if I sound funny, I'm a little bit stopped up right now, it's that time of year I guess, and I've got a little bit of a cold, um, no big deal. But yeah, I've been playing this game since Black Friday probably. I picked this game up, and I've been kind of no life in it since. And this game is a lot of fun, and it kind of confirms some of the things I thought before the release of COD Ghost and Battlefield 4, that this might actually be a better game than Call of Duty Ghost. And I hate to say it, because I've always been a very strong Call of Duty supporter, this is a, probably a better game. And the graphics on it are amazing, the gameplay's pretty smooth, and just the amount of things you can do it, it you can't do it in Call of Duty um, I'm I still I'll still play Call of Duty Ghost don't get me wrong I, I still enjoy Call of Duty but this this is a pretty amazing game and and if you look at it from improvements from the previous game to the next game I, Battlefield really improved a lot compared to Battlefield 3 and Call of Duty, it, it really, it didn't. I mean, I know the game's mechanic, the game mechanics changed, and, you know, they changed a couple things, but, you know, overall, they didn't improve on a lot of things, and, you know, a lot of that is Call of Duty releases every year, Battlefield every two years, I mean, I understand that, they had more time to work on the game, but, I don't know, Battlefield 4 is uh, amazing, and, you know, it, it's just like every other PS4 gameplay you'll see the video I'm uploading is not going to do it justice just because of the way you have to go about doing it because right now it's still got the HDCP um, that patch hasn't hit yet I wish I would hurry up and do that but you know so the way I'm having to do it, it the, the quality is just not what it actually is and uh, it's amazing you see the second set of tags I get in this game I think that was kind of funny but yeah I'm um, playing this and playing a little bit of domination in this gameplay and I've been playing several different game modes and I got a little bit worried about ammo and died but I've been playing several different game modes obliteration is fun rush is fun and you know all that it's fun stuff and then conquest with a 64 man server is complete chaos and that kind of solved one of the biggest things I didn't like about battlefield is that sometimes there was just no action and in the 64 man server there's always somebody either shooting at you or somebody for you to shoot so you know that that's a lot of fun and uh, it's probably more fun if you're not playing by yourself so right now I'm playing by myself on the gameplay in the background so that's why I'm not trying to play uh, conquest and I'm just playing regular domination plus the map's smaller and you know you can run around and I don't know, it's just more rushy, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, and the, the setup I'm using in this is actually fun. I, I'm running the uh, FAMAS, and, you know, the FAMAS was always fun in Call of Duty. Was, Modern Warfare 2, it was a beast, and Black Ops, it was a beast. And, you know, even in Battlefield 3, it was, it was, it was an okay gun. The fire rate on it is pretty high, so uh, recoil is kind of hard to manage at times so uh, what I'm doing I call it my Modern Warfare 2 setup uh, I'm running the burst fire and that's the cool thing about this you can see like you know either single fire or auto fire and then some guns you do have a burst fire option and FAMAS is one of them so I'm running it as burst fire just like the Modern Warfare 2 FAMAS and it works out pretty good I mean it, it keeps your accuracy there you're able to drop them in usually two bursts so it's not like you're having to struggle to get kills and you're not really losing a whole lot of you know your fire rate if you can really spam that trigger button so you know this setup was fun and I get some success with it actually so you know it's a good setup to run and you know that's another thing battlefield you know the recoil is more realistic than in Call of Duty so you know firing full auto you usually do miss a lot of shots so you know it's a good idea to burst fire anyway and having it set up to where you actually can burst fire 
you know that that helps out a lot and i don't know so uh if you haven't tried this game you're you're really 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 missing out it's it's an amazing game um it's, it's probably i hate to say it but it, it is probably a better game than call of duty ghost at this moment in time um you know some of that might be just the newness of it since i've been playing call of duty ghost since it released and just started on battlefield 4 but you know i plan on uploading both ghost and battlefield 4 pretty regularly to my channel um, i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's gonna wrap up um you know and if you haven't given this game a ch you know, shot, give it a chance. You'll you'll really enjoy it, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you haven't yet. Please do subscribe. This is Georgia Texan 85, and I'm out.